So what's going on my dedicated rose presents? It's me, Luigi Kid, and I'm finally back. I mean, yeah, I know it's been only a few days, but for the two people that are still interested, I did suffer from a very, very nasty cold, and I wasn't really able to speak without cutting the ever-loving crap out of my body. But I feel now a little bit better and got more energy again, which I definitely need to make good use of and make a video. So boys and girls, are you ready for another Luigi Kids? Today, we react to Flash Track created by Kumo. Maybe remember a few days ago, we played the remake by Vibing Leaf of El Pen Drive Azul, aka the Blue Flash Drive. And Kumo has uploaded a few months ago a Blue Flash Drive related Sonic Creepypasta video. Let me give you a quick history of Sonic Creepypasta. Before there was Sonic EXE, there actually was El Pen Drive Azul, the first ever Sonic Creepypasta, a time before Sonic EXE even was existing. Maybe it didn't appear on some people's radar because it used to be a Spanish Creepypasta, but pretty quickly it got translated into English. So if you're excited for this, you know what you're supposed to do, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel right now, subscribe to Kumo, and without any further ado, let's finally react to the Flash Drive. Here we go. I need to tell something that happened to me for some time ago. I feel the need to speak for I feel bad of keeping it for so long. And to tell the truth, it still haunts me. Oh. It all started with the death of a friend. One night I received his visit and he looked pale and very scared. In his hands he held a pen drive, which he insisted I'll take. Take it, is what he said. I still remember this moment to this very day. Wait, was it, was it like a ghost apparition of your friend? Or... Was it before he passed away? Huh? I don't know tell what happened next. It was a difficult day. I couldn't stop thinking about it. It was all so sudden. And the pen drive? What did I mean? I needed to know. So I grabbed the pen drive and decided to document what I could find. I made the decision because things didn't add up for some reason. I was never asked about what I experienced the day he passed. But do you know what actually happened? A pure miracle. I managed to recover what I managed to find. You will understand soon. It is gameplay of Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, it is! Arrow keys to spacebar to jump. One of the greatest games in existence. No cap. No cap. Looks like a classic Sonic the Hedgehog game, doesn't it? Well, nothing is what it seems. Ooh, it's a little off sync. I started playing normally. I didn't understand how this game had anything to do with what happened to my friend. However, he did like the blue characters games, so something was up with it. Of course you like Sonic, who doesn't? For some reason on recording kept crashing gameplay, which wasn't common to happen. I barely used this computer. Bro, it's way too fast to read everything. We're just gonna enjoy the gameplay, okay? Yeah, bro, shit's laggy as fuck. You know we need that. It gives us more of that immersive feeling again of watching this. Whoa, huh? what is said that? This strange started when I launched myself on an enemy by accident. I'm not familiar with Sonic games, but I know that these red squares weren't supposed to be here. That's true, as well as those creatures. Something told me that this was wrong, but I thought about the logical answer of it being graphical errors, which made me continue. When some graphical bugs like those happen to the best games, am I right? This is where everything really started getting weird. There was no more blue in the sky, just red, which made me decide to leave it for good. Everything that happened that day affected me enough, and I didn't have time for this kind of thing. Especially the music. However, I couldn't close the game. None of my computer commands were obeyed, which left me distressed. Just turn it off? Then everything got worse when I realized that I no longer control Sonic. He still continued on his own. That's crazy. <coughs> oh, f Bro, just walk away from the screen, would you? Problem solved. And then. Ooh! This was all sick. I hadn't noticed, but seeing it now, got the intention of the scene. Is it like the accent of your friend? Maybe? Big yikes. What happened next was what really scared me. As my computer was unusable, I had to record with my cell phone's camera. This is what happened. That's a genius idea to put a phone recording into a creepypasta video. I really like that idea. Sounds a lot more plausible, to be honest. Oh shit. What's the film with a potato? An old Sony Ericsson or Nokia phone? <laughs> Oh, there he is. Hyper-realistic Sonic. Well, that actually looks pretty good. Do we now get to see the, the countdown? The game over screen? Yo, Sonic. Wake up, will ya? Oh, there he is opening his eyes. 
It's so much creepier than Silent EXE, to be completely honest. It says rip everywhere. He has the red eyes. He's probably allergic to something. That allergic reaction would be nasty. I can relate, bro. So, the time reach zero. What you saying? Bro, what is he turning into? Was well, a good call that you were actually recording this with your cell phone. What the fuck? This is definitely getting out of hand, my dedicated Rosebreds. What even? Oh, and the sounds. Oh shit, it's getting worse. It just got worse and worse with each second. My computer just broke down after that. It took me a while to really get everything in order. I don't know exactly what to think. This is all surreal to me. Yeah? And I can actually see why. To be completely frank, this creepypasta actually hits so much different and feels better than the first barely written Sonic the EXE creepypasta by that weirdo JC Hyena. Just the fan games are all pretty pretty good of Sonic the EXE. But the blue flash drive? Holy shit, that was actually pretty pretty Gucci. I can't fit the dots together because it just doesn't make sense. It all doesn't make sense. The worst part of all this is what I discovered by reviewing all the footage. What I saw. Everything I saw, I just want to forget. Dead friend. Is this your dead friend? Bro. It looks like Sonic got skinned or some shit. What the fuck? Well, that was definitely a very, very, very nice retake by Kumo. Which retake was better? The one by Kumo, the one by Vibing Leaf? You know what? I don't even want to compare those two because they both did an amazing job. So if you and dedicated Rose Brothers enjoyed this reaction and this video as much as I did, you know what you're supposed to do. Please make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel right now. And please leave a like on Kumo's video as well and subscribe to the creator. A dedicated Rose Brothers, I'm not going to try to recover some more. With all that being said, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, to rate the video or the comments feedback, and we'll see each other in the next video. So much my dedicated boss, but it's awesome, stay safe, and see you, ciao! Hey, go.